She is one of the most recognizable faces on South African television and has been making a splash across the globe. We are talking about the immensely talented Nomzamo Mbata. Playing the iconic Queen Nandi in Mzansi Magic's Shaka Ilembe, Nomzamo has excited fans with a compelling portrayal and angered others. There was controversy around the show's decision to depict Nomzamo and other women bare-breasted as part of traditional Zulu maiden attire. After the episode aired, social media was abuzz with fans claiming that the costumes, or lack of it, were sexualizing the characters or exploitative of women. What do you think about the costumes? Let us know in the comments below. Set in the 1700s, Shaka Ilembe tells the origin story of the famous Zulu king and the events surrounding his life. It is a fictional interpretation of real events, and the producers focused on making sure that Nguni culture is portrayed authentically. Despite the controversy, Nomzamo has held her head high and promoted the show in various interviews and on social media, and gave us a peek into what her life looks like now. In this episode of The Lux Life, we will be exploring the glamorous life of an actress, producer, and humanitarian Nomzamo Mbata. Many of us know Nomzamo as a star of some of our favorite local series like Isibaya and Umlilo, but now she is starring opposite Hollywood A-listers and calling Los Angeles her home. So how did she go from the streets of KwaZulu-Natal to Hollywood Boulevard? Let's explore. The actress was born in Kwamashu Township on 13 July 1990. I've always had a very strong personality. Nomzamo left the province after high school to study at the University of Cape Town. There, she completed a Bachelor of Commerce degree specializing in accounting. Did you know she's a qualified accountant? In 2012, the star attended MTV's VJ Search in Cape Town. Out of the 600 hopefuls, Nomzamo made it to the top three. Even though she didn't win, the actress struck gold when she was cast as Tandeka and Lovu in Isibaya. Nomzamo was a lead member of the cast until she decided to leave in 2020. Me, who's so not afraid to leave the Titanic when the music is still going. She made her feature film debut in 2015 in the romantic comedy Tell Me Something Sweet, opposite heartthrob Maps Moponyane. Although never admitting to it publicly, Nomzamo and Maps were set to have dated from 2015 until 2018. According to rumors, the two broke up because Maps had an affair. The two still don't seem to be on good terms because in 2020, Nomzamo tweeted at Maps saying, Stop taking advantage of my silence and choice to be graceful through it all. Shake this can one more time and I'll open it. In 2019, she made the brave move to go to Los Angeles and tried to make it on the international stage. But after six months of failed auditions and no callbacks, she decided to come back home with a tail between her legs. But wait, you won't believe what happened next. Just after she arrived back in South Africa, Nomzamo got a call from her agent about a role that was perfect for her. She flew back to LA and auditioned for the role of Mirembe in the long-awaited sequel of Coming to America. Starring alongside Eddie Murphy, she plays the royal barber in the fictional African country of Zamunda. Mirembe becomes the love interest of Murphy's character's son, Lavelle Johnson, played by Jermaine Fowler. And that was not the end for Nomzamo. Which legend do you think she worked with next? In 2022, it was announced that Nomzamo would be starring alongside industry giant Bruce Willis in his final film, Assassin. The 68-year-old action star retired from the film due to his diagnosis of dementia and aphasia. In an interview with You Magazine, Nomzamo said about Bruce Willis, He was just a beautiful human and such a consummate professional. He makes everybody feel seen and worthy to be around him. The film was released in March 2023. In addition to her professional work, Nomzamo has also been very active in changing the world. She is known for her charitable works and for speaking out on issues that are close to her heart. The actress iconically graced the cover of Cosmopolitan South Africa's first activism issue. She was named a UNHCR ambassador and has spent time working with them to support refugees around the world. The starlet also started the Nomzamo Lighthouse Foundation, which supports underprivileged young people with bursaries, supplies, skills development, and mentorship. Last year, she returned to her hometown of Kwamashu in Durban to rebuild the Dr. J. L. Dube High School into a state-of-the-art school with the help of the Cotton On Foundation. In terms of endorsements, Nomzamo became the first South African to represent the skincare brand Neutrogena in 2015. She has also collaborated with brands such as Puma and Audi. So after all that, what do you think she's worth? Well, according to research, Nomzamo's net worth is set at about $3 million, which is about 56 million rand. What kind of home is fit for such a high-flying life? 
While Nomzamo has admitted that she is never in one place for longer than a week lately, she has said that she has two homes, a house in Cape Town and an apartment in Los Angeles, and she splits her time between these two places. If you're needed for in-studio, if you're needed for camera tests, you're right there. It's not like I have to get on a flight and still get there. She has not revealed much about her Los Angeles home. However, in Cape Town, we are aware that she lives in the lush suburb of Constantia in the city's southern suburbs. The all-white mansion has a large pool and stunning outdoor area. We have not seen much about the house's interiors, but from what we can see, it looks spacious and minimalistic. The price of the house has also been released, but houses in Constantia usually cost well over 5 million rand. And when she's driving around the city, Nomzamo makes good use of a partnership with automobile giant Audi. She has been spotted in several of their vehicles. She was photographed with an Audi SQ5, which retails for about 1.2 million rand. It has a 3-litre V6 TFSI engine and goes from 0 to 100 kilometers in 5.4 seconds. Imagine zooming around in one of these. And then there is the Audi R8 V10 that she posed in front of. This car can cost about 2.9 million rand and it's worth every penny. Known for its racing capabilities, it has an output of 449 kilowatts, a top speed of 331 kilometers per hour, and can go from 0 to 100 kilometers in 3.1 seconds. With Shaka Ilembe already one of the most watched shows on Nomzansi Magic, we are excited to see what projects Nomzamo will take on next. What part of Nomzamo Mbata's luxurious life do you love the most? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See ya.